Greetings everybody, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to the first episode of a new series playing Common Hood. Episode 1, A Fresh Start. Common Hood is a community building and economy management game with highly customizable base building tools. Scavenge for materials, grow your own food, research new technology, craft new tools, build a home, make friends. Form your community and take it from surviving to thriving. I will be polling, of course, about priorities and goals, um, but this is also going to be a bit of a tutorial. So initially I will be playing slowly and explaining as I go. I'm also going to be reading their cinematics because they're not voiced by voice actors or actresses. So here we go. Let's play the story. I didn't choose to leave my home. But I also didn't choose to start from scratch. I always thought that everything was going to be alright, that this kind of thing didn't happen to people like me. After my dad passed, I found no way to pay the bills or pay back the hospital bills. Nobody seemed to care. They were ready to take away everything. I needed to find a new start and build something that they could not touch. And I didn't want to depend on them anymore. I couldn't leave my home before seeing the place both my parents worked. This factory fills the memories of my childhood. But it has been abandoned for years now. I found out that I wasn't the only one attracted to the factory, though. I suppose a proper introduction is necessary. Very loud fire noises. You know, I said I'd narrate, so there it is. Crackle in your ears! Okay. Uh, on the left, it says, introduce yourself. Talk to Ash, Rhett, and Mo. Also, hit H for tutorials. Welcome to Common Hood. After an eviction, you are forced to start from scratch. You found temporary shelter in this abandoned factory where your parents used to work. Occupy the factory by crafting tools, shelter, and producing economic independence. Bring a community together and resist the challenging circumstances. You can access this tutorial window anytime by pressing H. WASD to move, mouse to look around, and tab or B for backpack. So here's my backpack, nice and empty. Item management. You can drag and drop items into inventory slots. I will note, um, sometimes it's a little buggy. It doesn't like stick every time, but that aside. At the bottom of the screen is the action bar. Some items, like the table saw, can be placed in the world if they are in the action bar. You can access the missions tab from your backpack. Missions are hints at various game mechanics you can discover. Click here to see the various missions you can complete. Click on a mission to activate the mission tracker. You can use several shortcuts to move items quickly. Double click or control left mouse will move all the resources. Double click or control left mouse will move the resources to an adjacent window. And then there's also take one, take 10 and take half. So here's the backpack and we have blueprints, missions, community, research, and then contracts. All right, let's introduce ourselves. Uh, there's also a lot of things that you can loot in game, like here is soil from this pile of soil, or more soil. There is a finite amount of storage in your backpack, but it is pretty ample. You're not gonna run out very soon. Wood glue, fuses, and blades. All right, let's go in and actually talk to people. 
So this here is Rhett. Aren't you too young to be in the streets already? I'm 20. Well, that's quite young. Are you a junkie or something? No. Relax, just asking. How'd you end up here anyway? My dad used to work in this place before, before he passed away. What's going on here anyway? Well, I'm sorry to hear about your dad. We are squatting this factory, isn't that obvious? Squatting? Legally occupying this abandoned property. Legally? Well, it should be. Nobody is using this place. We don't have anywhere to go. I see. Do you mean everyone here is homeless? We don't call ourselves homeless. This is our home. People come and go. We are like family. You are welcome to stay. Thanks. I don't have anywhere to go either. We know. You don't have to explain yourself. Welcome to the common. Alright, let's talk to Ash. Another one who fell through the cracks. Cracks? Wake up, girl. You're here because they don't care about people like us. If you are not making enough money and keeping your mouth shut, you end up in a place like this. Well, that's not my story. My dad passed away, and I lost the house. I couldn't pay the hospital bills. Exactly. Get yourself together. Everyone here is making themselves useful. I see you have a tent. Why don't you place that somewhere? You will need a place to sleep. We can talk again later. All right, where is Mo? There you are. Moonwalking. Sweet. Oh, a new tutorial, debris. So food storage. There is a food cellar near where you started the game. This is where you store the food for your community. Characters will consume food in the cellar. Make sure you never run out of food or your community will suffer from hunger. As you explore, you'll run across debris, rubbles, and wreckages which block building areas and paths. You can clear debris by holding a left click. Items may emerge from the debris as it is being cleared. Once clearing process reaches 100%, the debris will disappear. Some debris takes a really long time to clear. Characters you've recruited can help you clear them. Some debris might require a special tool to break. What are you doing here? Did they kick you out as well? Yeah, I didn't know where to go. Many people have passed through this place. Make yourself at home. What's your plan? Plan? Yeah. You don't plan to stay here forever, do you? I don't know. My advice is that you make yourself useful. I'm more of a farmer myself. Anyways, you might want to ask Ash. I'm Mo, by the way. The Common. Where have I heard that word before? There must be a way to explore this place. I still have memories of when my parents used to bring me here when I was a kid. But it looks so different now. Perhaps I should set up a temporary shelter here and see what I can find. I'll go ahead and unpack some of my things I brought. I'm sure a table saw will be useful. Okay. Placing objects. The number key corresponding to an item in the action bar to place the item in the world. Uh, they can only be placed within areas demarcated by yellow markers. And you rotate with R, you shift rotate 90 degrees, and you can collect them back by right clicking. And here is some advanced where you can change the axis of rotation as well. So I am going to place my tent. There we go. I now have a tent. Sleeping. After 9 p.m., you will get tired. You will need to sleep. Place a tent and sleep on it. If you build a shelter, you might be able to have a nicer night sleep. Sleeping will fast forward you to next day. Sleeping in a new area defines that area as your new home. Members of your community and vendors will join that area the following day. The shelter quality will define the happiness of your community members. Privacy. Don't place beds close to each other. Noise level. Don't place beds near machines. Aesthetics. Use decorations to give characters 
uh, to give characters to your shelter. Um, okay, and you will get a bonus if it matches the decorations they like. And I'm going to start uh, picking random stuff up. I'm actually going to go talk to this ant farmer over here next. These used to be a remarkable place. It once gave jobs to hundreds of people. Now it is just shelter for wildlife. The sinkhole made the whole factory collapse. The accident killed several people. It was the cause for the whole factory to go bankrupt about 15 years ago. It was all over the news. You probably heard about it. What's with the masks? Is this place toxic or something? No, they belong to the people that used to work here. You should ask the others. Strange. Well, that is quite the sinkhole. All right, I am going to spend a minute uh, collecting loose stuff that I can collect. Because it's free. I'm also going to uh, turn up the game just a little bit. Let me know if you think it's too loud. So the materials that I'm collecting, I will be able to put to crafting use soon. But so that I don't have to go and buy anything, it helps for me to stock everything now. And if you're wondering, I have played a significant amount of this game. So uh, if you have questions about the game, feel free to use the channel points, ask a question about the game, and I'll be able to answer. Well, maybe. Can't guarantee it. Could I lower UI noises? Sure. Hello, kiddo. Now we can finally have a proper introduction. My name is Alcott. Hey Alcott, I'm Nikki. You seem to have a lot of interesting junk here. Junk? Nothing is junk if you find a use for it. Are you looking for something? Maybe. Can I see what you have? Sure. Everything is for sale. If you find something interesting, or even better, if you build something, I can probably get a good price for it. A good price? I go to the flea market every week to trade. I can sell things you bring to me. Look. These have been selling really good lately, but I'm a bit too old to keep building them. Use reluberants to make chairs. I'll buy them from you. So here is his inventory. And he just gave me a chair blueprint, which I'm going to put in my action bar. Blueprints. Blueprints you've made or found in the world are available in the blueprint tab of the backpack. You can place a blueprint into the world to get a step-by-step -step guide for completing a blueprint. If you run out of materials in the middle of a building, uh, a blueprint, you can interact with machines and storages to get more materials without canceling the blueprint. Once you grow your community, you can request characters to build blueprints for you. Creating blueprints. Once you've placed several construction materials, you can group them into blueprints. Group objects by pressing G. Select the placed objects you wish to group, Give them a name by pressing enter. And then it also goes on to say removing blueprints from your inventory. You can always find all of your blueprints in the blueprints panel. You have infinite copies of them. So for me to be able to make this chair, I'm going to do a little bit more uh, looting. A little explore looting. But then I will place a table saw and a gas generator. See, this is electronic tools. Balding tools, some electronics items, and uh, cheers, by the way. Better late than never. How far can you get in this game? Um, I'm not sure I understand your question. You can become a captain of industry with fully automated robotics. Does that answer your question? Oh, here's a blueprint. Simple, ta simple table blueprint. And some food and gasoline and metal plates. I will show you the research tree once it becomes more relevant in the game. So, next up, gas generator and table saw.
So I'm gonna keep the gas generator and table saw further away from the beds and tents as possible so that it doesn't disturb the sleep of others. Power. Machines like the table saw require power to operate. Place a generator from your inventory to provide power. When you have more machines, you will need to place more power sources accordingly. Each generator, for example, can power about 10 machines. Generators consume gasoline, and they will need to be refilled after several days. If you explore, you can also find solar panels, which provide constant power depending on how much light they receive. They stop working after sunset. Crafting. Oh, Mo is chatting with me? That's some t serious table saw. Where'd you get that? It's my dad's, or was. Was one of the few things I could get in the truck after the eviction. Do you work with wood? My dad taught me. We used to build furniture in a garage. I see, I could, that could be really handy here. Really, how? You could cut some four by fours out of raw lumber? I guess, what do you need those for? I've been trying to start a farming operation here, but I've needed some raised beds for farming as this place has lots of polluted soil. The four by fours will be perfect to build planters. Okay, sure, I can help with that. Great. I will need 40 4x4s. Uh, currently, I am too tired. It is after 9 p.m., so I'm going to go to sleep. End of day one. Didn't do anything. Oops. Okay. So right now, I am going to build and sell a chair. So in order to do that, I can click on the table saw, click on the 4x4 column, hit load all, which loads raw lumber from my backpack, and then just hold left click to build... 4x4s. I'm going to build the chair first, and then I am going to build the planter. Ha, ah, very nice woodworking. Where'd you learn that? Let me guess, your dad again? Yep, I was always hanging around with him in the garage. We used to build a treehouse together. That's a nice project to learn. Now I can get started with the farming operations. You want to help me out? Absolutely. Here's the blueprint I have been following. Do you think you can build a planter? Shouldn't be a problem. You'll need 4x4s and soil, which you can find scattered around on it. Construction materials. Construction materials like beams can also be placed in the world, but you need, but you can make various shapes with them. Click and drag to define the length and the direction. So here is the chair blueprint. And I am building a chair right now. And there it is. My first chair. I'm going to pack it up and sell it to Alcott. Mission complete. Sell a chair. All right, let's build a planter. So drag the blueprint into my bar. Here, I can get rid of this blueprint. And put it down. Now, if you mess up, you can always restart. It's not really a problem. If you make a mistake. And then if you accidentally place something, like I'll do that in pur on purpose. See, that's too long. I'll be able to reclaim the wood after it's done being built. And the soil. So there, I'm going to pack up the small planter, and you can see the extra piece of wood is left over that I can pick up. You have some nice crafting skills. Thanks. I enjoy building things with my hands. It helps me forget how I ended up here. Listen, everyone has a story like yours. This kind of thing happens ha is happening to everyone. It still hurts. It sure does, but farming can really be helpful to heal. I can see that. What else can I do? Let's start by planting some potato seeds and watering them. Use the planter you built. Here are some seeds. 
You can always talk to Cedric in the back. He's always collecting seeds and talk, uh, talking at the end of talking the end of the world and stuff. I'm sure he can sell you some. So Cedric is that guy right there in the center of the screen. Can't really get to him at the moment. So I'm going to plan on putting the planter as close to this water tank as possible so that it's easier to water. So put the planter down. Potato seed. And then I also have 12 empty water jugs. So I go up to the water tank and fill my water jugs. I only really need one filled water jug, but I might as well fill them all now. Put the water jugs in my action bar and water it. Done. Mission complete. Planted some potatoes. Thanks for the help. Those potatoes look perfect. We'll need a lot more, though. Yeah, I see. This farming is hard work, but I like it. Yeah, me too. I really enjoy seeing something grow. Mo, can I ask you something personal? Yes, Nikki? How did you end up here? It's a long story. Maybe for some other time. Sure. Why don't we set up a large farm to feed everyone, and then eventually sell our produce in a farmer's market? I like that. Count on my help. Okay, Mo just joined my community. So if I go to the community tab here, I can tell Mo things to do. So I'm actually going to add a job here that he's going to work between 9 a.m. and uh, noon, and I'm going to tell him to clear debris. He likes to farm, and he likes to cook. He farms more efficiently, but I don't really have farming tasks for him to do because I just have one plot. Um, he has a bed. It would be red if he didn't. And here he is digging up the debris so that I can reclaim space for growing. Uh, Brownell, you ask, what are we at the game from 1 to 10? Um, I actually really like it. Um, so maybe like a 7 or an 8. Not a lot of games get like a 9 or 10 for me. There's very, very few. Uh, so when he clears debris, I'll be able to pick up the material that he drops. Okay, what other missions do I have? I saw you digging into that debris. Looking for something? Well, I thought we could use the space for farming or even building some structures. Who's going to do all that? Well, I will, I guess. Maybe some people might want to help later? Good luck with that. People don't have much energy or hope around here. Look, go ahead and clear all those debris and it can't hurt to have more space here. All right, let's clear some debris. How's the volume of everything now? Does it need uh, further adjustment, or is it good? Yeah, Nikki is the kind of like uh, leader from the front. Yeah, I feel like the music is a little loud too. I'll uh, I'll turn it down in a sec. The tech noises can go. <laughs> It kind of reminds me of the old, um, like, Game Boy games. You know, the old handhold, handheld games. Definitely a, a throwback to, like, I don't know, po I feel like I think of Pokemon when I hear that, like, looping noise. Or, or Stardew Valley does it, too. Legend of Zelda, exactly. And I see that my tutorial is flashing, so I'll read some additional tutorials once I have this cleared. Oh, also, it's worth noting, if you don't fully clear it, you don't lose progress. So this is 95% clear, and I can finish it off whenever I want. So let's go through these tutorials. Community. The first character has joined your community. Each character has a unique story. Talk to them frequently to discover their motivations. They will often open up uh, new... I think it's supposed to say new research and opportunities and projects and missions and, and contracts and, and stuff. Characters can also perform jobs. Assign jobs in the schedule panel. Um, 
So this is an indicator of someone without a bet. It looks red there. Scheduling. You can assign jobs uh, to a character through the schedule tab on their character panel. And duration of jobs. It also says that um, in the beginning, some slots in a character schedule will be blocked. Uh, and you unlock them with trust. Uh, characters are able to build things. They're able to farm. They're able to manufacture specific items, provided that there is the resources in the community storage bin. And they have status effects, like uh, depressed or cold or motivated or happy. I'm just uh, giving you the TLDR. All right, debris cleared. And she is coming back to talk to me. Jeez, that was hard. I see. You don't give up easy, huh? I don't have anything else to do. Might as well make something out of this. Maybe, maybe I underestimated you. Why are you here anyway? Nostalgia, I guess? My parents used to bring me here when I was a kid. I thought maybe I could find the place where they used to work. Do you know where I can find the administration wing? Administration wing? No, not really. But listen, if you're going to be poking around, be careful. People will end up in this place for all sorts of reasons. Not everyone is so friendly. There are more people here? People come and go. I see people on the other side of the sinkhole. I see. Thanks for the advice. Is there anything else I could do to help? We've been talking about building a planner machine. Maybe you can help with that? Now that we have all this space, we can improve our workshop. I see. I think I might need to build a metal workbench first. With that, I'll have the tools to build other machines. Sure, do what you need to. All right, so we have yet another task. I'm gonna head down here to um, um, do some looting, light looting. Some more seeds and gasoline. It's really dark, I realize. This is like the only part of the game that is shockingly dark. Um, later on, you're given the ability to make light sources, but uh, but there's, there's nothing I can really do about this, this dark spot. All right, so the current priority, I guess I'll update it for the first time, craft a planner. So this is a, oh, hi. Saw you checking out the workbench there. Oh, is it yours? We share things here in the common. Feel free to use it. All right. We used to be able to repair machines and build tools here, take care of our needs, you know not having to depend on shiny new objects all the time. I see, but this workbench looks broken. Yeah, we haven't been able to get the parts to repair it. I can try to fix it. That would be great. It would give us more independence, allowing us to build new tools. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Why don't you talk to Alcott? He's always talking about the wares he's uh, he has found around. He might have something useful. So in order to repair this, I need electronic tools, a soldering iron, in two scrap metal. I do not currently have a soldering iron, so I'm gonna go talk to Alcott. I'm gonna buy the soldering tool, and then let's head over here and drag and drop the items required to repair it, and now it's fixed. That workbench looks as good as new. Yeah, glad to help. Looking to put it to use anytime soon? Maybe, though I don't know what for yet. My dad and I used to build all sorts of things in our garage. Well, it sounds like you both were very close. Yes, I really miss him. I'm sure you do. Anyway, I'm not really good at this. Perhaps you could start building elect electric motors. We could always use more of those. Wait, what? What do you need motors for? Well, there is a crane in the bank that has been broken forever. I was thinking maybe building some motors could help fix it. Also, if we need some money for food, those motors sell well in the flea market. I see. Sure, I can give it a shot. Great. You might need to find some scrap metal and wires. Try digging out of the piles of debris. I'm sure you can find some around. Again, remember to talk to Alcott. He will fix you with the things you might be missing. Add motors to the community storage crate uh, there by the podium once you are done. 
Uh, but I am too tired. So sleep again. And now, as you can see in this little uh, cutscene, it's Mo and me, because Mo has joined. And it keeps track of all the items I've crafted, all of those 4x4 four four columns. And then, if I go to the community tab, I can see Mo's um, current status. He's cold, because we're sleeping in tents on the bare floor. It's not exactly idyllic uh, accommodations. All right, so the next thing I am going to do is I am going to place down some of my dad's books. Open up the research and research do I even want to do here? Do I even need research? So for a metal workbench, I need manufacturing one. So I'm going to research it. Oh, also, uh, let's manage my potato. I could have had Mo do it. But it's easy enough to just walk over and water it. Okay, that's done. So now that this allows me to make a metal workbench. And I need one metal tool to be able to finish it off. So, Alcott. Sell me metal tool. it uh, here. So this metal workbench allows me to make a planner. I need 50 plates, 20 electrical wires, and 20 gears for it. So 50 plates I can make on the generic workbench. And I just need to make 40 more. How long is the story? I don't know. I don't know how long. It also depends on, you know, if you speedrun or not. Because there's a lot more to do in this game than just, uh, just quest. Alright, so those are the plates I needed. Then I need, uh, 20 gears. Oh, I need two more plates. 20 gears. And electrical wires. But for that, I need to research Electronics 101. And there's some more tutorials. Community storage. There is a community storage crate in each area. If you store items and materials there, other characters can use them for jobs. Anything produced by other members of the community will also be brought there as well. Research. You can research new technologies to unlock craftables or machines to grant other bonuses. First, you will need to select which technology to research from the research stream. And then you can progress through the research by interacting with the research site. Um, each technology requires time to research. Eventually, you'll be able to get other characters to help with researching. And research nodes. I think those are kind of obvious to anyone that has ever seen, like, RimWorld, for instance. So here is the community storage. I'm not going to put anything in here because uh, no one else is doing tasks. But in the food cellar, I'm going to place the canned food that I have. Uh, so that I can keep Mo and I fed. So, over to Electronics 101. And... Done. And I believe I said 20 wires. There it is. And then this gets me a planer.
I'll put this here. Mission complete. Crafted a planner. Put three motors in the community storage. This machine was not easy. I had to read some books to put it together. Impressive. So what do you plan to use this for? Well, with these machines, we can make wood panels. With panels, we can make floor platforms, walls, and rooms. I see. We can probably use it for a bridge, too. A bridge? To cross the sinkhole, perhaps. Talk to Alcott about that. He might be able to help you. For now, do you think you could build a few uh, floor modules? They would uh, be great to avoid the humidity. Let's get started with four floor modules. I'll give it a shot. So I have another blueprint. Uh, I'm going to make the, the motors first. Here they are. And I need 15 gears, 15 wire, and I'll get that first. wire. Inuverd, thank you for the uh, three sub. And also a whole lot of other people. 88 Jack and Squid Pope. And then um, Rev and Lady Shell for the gifted subs. Alright, there is my engines. My little motors. And in order to complete this one, I just have to put them in the community storage. And then I'll take them out, because I'm going to end up using them or selling them. Nice job with those motors. Your father taught you well. I think I could still improve. This is good for now. You should try selling some and buying some food. Food is always scarce here. If people don't have food, they get frustrated and leave. But back to our original task. What you're trying to fix is that large crane. Sounds ambitious. I'm not sure I can do that. You don't need to fix the whole thing. I think the problem is the control panel. Something's not wired right. That's something I can do. I was always good with wires. My father didn't have the patience, so he always let me sort them out. Sounds dangerous. I know how to keep things safe. Leave it to me. Alright. If you manage to fix the crane, we should be able to move some large items around. We really help. Imagine what we could do with this place. But I am too tired, so I'm going to go to sleep. I knew very thank you for the gifted subs as well. Maybe I'll turn pink like our main character, Nikki, here. All right. Plant is ready to harvest. Uh, I am going to make Mo farm. So if I go to community and go to Mo, I can change the schedule from, from clearing to farming. So Mo will now be responsible for watering that uh, potato. And here I have five potatoes. All right, so this is the control panel for the crane. And my current priority is fix the panel. So it needs a motor, a microcontroller, and two wires to fix. Also, might I add, this is a common theme. For you to access more of the game and progress in the story, you generally have to fix something to be able to proceed through the, the game. All right, so a microcontroller requires advanced electronics one. So I will hit the books. And this is a eight hour research task, so I'm gonna speed through it. What's the potato per day consumption per person? Uh, maybe like two or three. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, let me just tell you, it doesn't stay relevant. It's very easy to make oodles and oodles and oodles of money in this game in a not so balanced way. So it's not hard to feed people at, like ever. All right, so here's a microcontroller and I need uh, six wires for this. Make some extra. Nate Dog, welcome to your first stream. 
So there's the microcontroller. I already have the engines. So I think I have everything to fix the, uh, the crane. Oh, where'd I... Oh, they're down here. All right, crane is fixed. Choo-choo! Nice. Oh, where is... Oh, there you are. I told you I was good with wires. Nice. You're bringing some good energy to this place. Don't be shy, it's true. This place has been a dump for years. As I said before, my parents used to work here. I was hoping I could look around more to see if I find some of the stuff they left behind. I have a lot of memories of this place. Well, you'll need to find a way to cross that sinkhole. We have explored this area, but there is no way around it. People say this factory is huge. There might be all sorts of things we can use on the other side. Perhaps we can build a bridge. The crane can help us place it across the sinkhole. A bridge? Hmm, that could do the trick. We'll need a lot of wood for that. Count with me. I'll help you I'll help you out building the bridge and explore the factory. Sorry, I like every now and then the text is a little weird and then my brain goes, huh, I don't know how to read this. Uh so Rhett just joined us. So now I'm feeding uh, three people. Myself and Rhett and Mo. Alcott, right? That's me. I spoke with Ash about building a bridge to cross the sinkhole. She said that you might be able to help. Ah, yes. I've been thinking about the same thing for quite some time. But unfortunately, we would need a planner to prepare some wooden panels. But you see, we already have one. I built one myself. Oh dear. That is certainly convenient. So yes, I've been drafting up ideas for a bridge. I calculated the length of the sinkhole on its shortest edge, but the bridge needs to be built in sections. Each section uses a series of parts, so this task is no joke. Got it. Sure, sure. Here are some blueprints you need to build uh, one section of the bridge. You will need one base and two rail sections. Once you have them, you'll be able to use the blueprint to build a full bridge section. Come back to me once you've fi finished a bridge section with railing. Okay, uh, first thing I'm going to do is to start planning up uh, one by one panels. Because I'm going to need a whole lot of paneling for this task. Oh, and I'm too tired. So, you know, sleepy time. Sleepy time for Rad. Or Nikki, I am now called. There you go, bud. Mo is motivated and cold, and Red is just cold. Uh, I could instruct... Actually, it's not a terrible idea. Uh, Rhett, I'm going to have you produce... Actually, uh, research for me. So you are going to research machine manufacturing. Or actually, no, you're going to research heavy timber. And there, there is a little symbol that they're eating the canned goods that I have. So I'm going to get a few hundred um, panels for this project. Thank you for tuning in to Common Hood, which originally streamed live on Twitch November 11th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming stream. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that made it all the way to the credits. 
I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.